Hello friends, it's time to do disassembly work on this Dell. Now, <clears throat> I'd love to tell you the model number, but as you can see, it's been destroyed. So I'll put it in the title and let's get cracking. As is often the case with most of my computer repair videos, you need to take all the screws out of the bottom of the computer before you can do anything else. All right, screws here, 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 and here, all removed. Now, you'll need a pry tool. I use a soft metal one, often marketed as a clay modeling tool. You'll be able to take a gander at that if the camera focuses. I don't think it will focus right now. And you need to pry open the computer. Now, the easiest way on these particular Dells is to stick it in this crack right here along the back where the vent is and once you get one corner up you may not need a pry tool at all anymore if you have fingernails especially but it's being a little tough here yep it comes up fairly easily uh, probably because it's a pretty beat up computer so it's seen its fair share of abuse we're in yeah that was easy wasn't it this is the RAM this is your CPU, which is permanently attached. You cannot upgrade it. This can be taken off. Uh, doesn't look like there's a screw over here, uh, but you may have to take the fan off with it. Nope, the fan is separate. Take this off to redo the heatsink grease. Your RAM is right here. Just two little arms, as is often the case with laptop RAM. We'll get you in and out. Your battery is here, which we'll be replacing shortly. If you want to do a solid state drive upgrade, then this is where you want to be. One screw here gets you the hard drive. And then one screw here. And then the last screw right down here. And the hard drive just comes straight up. It has its own little cable. It has four screws. If you're replacing this drive with anything else, a hard drive or a solid state drive, all you have to do is take the screws out to move this caddy over to the other drive. And then this cable just pulls right out. As you can see, the uh, tab fell off of it. We'll remove that permanently. The cable comes right out, plugs right back in, not a big deal. It's very easy to find the holes and put everything back. There's a little alignment pin right here, and that'll get you your hard drive in and out for possible solid state drive upgrade. At least we would hope that that's what you're doing. And there you go, you have a drive swap. If you are upgrading the Wi Fi card, it is right here, it is just one screw. and the Wi-Fi card comes right up. You can pop the antennas off. Putting them back on is a real pain and I can't really tell you how to do it. They click down and it's not fun. So I'm not going to let this one lose it. Put it back in its slot there. Put the screw back in place carefully. Come on. As you can see, you have a CMOS battery here that can be replaced if you use a pry tool to get in there and push it over and pop it out. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to clear the CMOS on this computer, but that's how you'd get your CMOS battery out and put another one in. Remember, positive up. And then the battery itself. To get the battery out, first of all, let's get all the screws out of it. There's one over here. And then, if you follow the battery chassis, you'll see there's one here. Keep going around. There's one here. There are little arrows that will tell you where they are. So it's pretty easy to find them. 
And if you keep going around, you see there's one here. And I believe that's the end of these. And voila, the battery should lift up. Because this computer uses a traditional battery attachment instead of some kind of cable, you can just pull the battery right on out. Check the old battery against the new battery. They look pretty identical because they're supposed to be. That's the bad one. That's the replacement. It's an OEM replacement. Usually I order a brand new one, but in the case of this one, it was actually cheaper to get a known good OEM one. So that's what I did. Get the pivot down and put the screws in. It's a little bit harder to put them back than it is to get them out, I'll, I'll admit. A magnetic screwdriver is very helpful. You can magnetize a screwdriver with a permanent magnet just simply by scraping it. Okay. And we have our new battery installed. Now, one last thing. Let's check the hinges. There's a screw here. That could use a little torque. And there's a screw here. But it looks like the screws that go through do most of the holding. That's actually a pretty good thing. Because it means they can be tightened externally. Push, push, push to get all the clips to re-engage. And... All these screws need to go back into their respective holes. So many different ways to do it. Some people will prefer just to put them in, but you know, installation is the reverse, or rather removal, installation, whatever. Re reassembly is the reverse of disassembly. You get the idea. I'll probably be fast forwarding through this part, so it doesn't really matter. I'm so old, I still say fast forward. Okay. All good. Does the battery have a charge? Let's see if it has any charge at all. All right. There you go. As you can see, this person's already busted their touch glass, too which is unfortunate. I don't think this battery is charged, so we'll have to test it later. But that's how you do a disassembly to do most of the upgrades and repairs that are possible inside of this Dell laptop. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and consider please financially supporting me so I can continue making these computer repair videos for you. Uh, links can be found on my website, jodybruchon.com, in the description below. Take care.